everyone, it is Lewis P. I hope everyone is doing very well and awesome and all of those things. Today what we're going to be talking about is the Daniel Negreanu Teaches Poker Masterclass. Now it says coming soon, the reality is, is it's actually out right now. So if you click the link in the description, it'll take you directly to the Masterclass for $90. So I got you back there. Let's do a complete breakdown of this class and figure out if it's worth it for you. Now little did a lot of people know, uh, I actually used to be a poker player a long time ago, back in 2013. I was a part of a community called 2 Plus 2 community those guys were awesome and they helped me out a lot back in the day as well and I'll actually throw in a few screenshots of those winnings this masterclass really pays a lot of respect to what I used to do back in the day it's so interesting how these masterclasses are falling into line with what I actually love doing so I used to be a big poker player I actually paid off my university degree playing poker that was an amazing experience so having this masterclass is sort of like a really really cool supplement to what people are already doing in saying that when you look at for example stock traders they all have a certain Bible that they read and it's called Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. This is a book that was written in the 1913 and this is sort of like the poker equivalent of that. If you're a poker player, regardless if you're the best in the world or a complete amateur, maybe if you're a complete beginner, I wouldn't start here. If you're a bit more advanced and you understand a bit more about the game, so for example, if you understand how boards work, so if you understand what the flop is and the river and all of those technical language lingo, then you'll be fine. But if you don't understand that you probably want to just do like a bit more of background research around what poker is. If you're a complete beginner, I wouldn't recommend this class at all. We'll take you through the class. We'll take you through every component of it as well. But ultimately, if you're just like, if you know the terminology very well, then you'll be fine. And this class will do wonders for you. And it really is sort of like the need to have product for any poker player now because Daniel Negreanu is honestly one of the best poker players on the planet right now. Evidently, because Masterclass is really good at that. Again, got a link in the description, check it out. So let's jump right into it. After I take you through this page, I'll take you through the actual class itself. So you see exactly what you get. So obviously there are 38 lessons, which is awesome. Join him on the poker table. The, the production quality is absolutely insane. They've done, and you learn strategies to advance your cash, your tournament and online play, which is good. This is hundred percent exclusive. So he's never actually done anything like this before. Really insane. And obviously click the link in the description. I've got you back there. Moving on, unlocking winning strategies. So essentially, if you don't know who Daniel Negrana is really, you want to probably pause the video and just you know do some YouTube research on him watch some of his plays and really figure out who the type of guy is you would know that he's actually not one of those stone cold poker players he's actually a very lively type of fun easy welcoming type of player and you really get to know him through this masterclass which is cool you learn about where he started from a teen he used to play back in the day with a $30,000 bankroll and he went into higher paid games and he lost all his money built into this massive career and becoming a world champion you really do put yourself across the felt from Daniel Negrano, the biggest live tournament player winner of all time, the six time World Series of Poker champion. And he basically teaches us the advanced theory and practice through hand reviews of his winning games, but also his losing games. So what's really, really cool is that component right there, the practice through hand reviews. So you actually have the actual video of him playing the live hands in the World Series of Poker. And then you, he breaks them down in like 20, 30 minute structures. And it's a, he goes into everything from betting to the tells to the flop, to the how, how wet or how dry the boards are and how these decisions are making him make his decisions to bet, call or raise. So you learn how to sharpen your mental game through demos on reading opponents and spotting tells. And you essentially just join Daniel at the table to learn how to increase your win rate, grow your return on investment and get your game in the money, as they say. So of course, 38 video lessons, there's a class workbook and obviously there are office hours where you can submit a question to Daniel himself and he may or may, may not answer it. I noticed that not a lot of people have actually taken this class and I'll show you, I'll, I'll provide some evidence on that very soon as we go into the class. This is so new, so fresh. A lot of people don't even know this even exists yet. And here is one review, you know, this class has helped me gain a deeper understanding of poker and has given me a clear direction on how to take my game to the next level. Highly recommend this class. Cool dude, thank you so much. Obviously it's 100% guaranteed if they got you back all the time. Obviously it's on the app store as well, so. There's, you can learn it anywhere on the go and because it's all online, you don't download anything and it's completely on demand, which is great. And you can obviously watch it on your mobile phone, your computer, your tablet, your TV, whatever you, as long as you have a browser to view it in. And there's even an online app from the Apple store, which is great. Now let's move back up and let's take you into the actual class itself. So this is what it really looks like when you actually have the class. As you can see, I'm logged in with Lewis P. So as soon as you get in, you have the introduction, you, you, know, you meet your instructor and you really get a background about who he actually is. 
And that's essentially what the introduction is. You start the lessons by you just press the red button and you're off to the races. You can pause, you can stop whenever you want, which is good. Then on top of that, they have this really, really cool workbook. Now I'm not gonna show it all to you. You know, I don't wanna discredit those that actually buy it, but as you can see right now, as you can see, this is the workbook that really is a supplement to all of the masterclass videos and lectures. It doesn't just stop there, for example. If you click on each single or any masterclass or any lesson, you'll see that it also has a supplementary downloadable PDF, which talks about the lesson and how you should be thinking about it, which is really cool. So the workbook, definitely download it. This is a serious class, really wants to up your level. And even if you are a pro or an absolute beginner, again, if you're an absolute beginner, you probably want, don't want to take this class. If you're just above an absolute beginner, you want to definitely get your hands on this. It'll give you so much value. On top of that, you have a community. Now, again, the community isn't, there isn't a many people on this masterclass. For example, I'll just scroll down to anyone, game selection for that matter, and you'll see that, let's see how many comments. There are zero comments. That means not a lot of people are actually watching this class. Maybe they're hiding it from a lot of people. I don't know. Here's another one, zero comments. Life as a poker player, zero comments. So there's not actually a lot of comments that are happening there. Of course, a few people are starting the first lesson and there you have 314 comments. You see, they're not even through the masterclass yet. And then you have the resources, which is essentially the class workbook that you could download up here, which is great. And then the office hours, a big one right so you know watch daniel provide feedback on assignments that people complete and then he answers student questions the ones that he picks out which is cool if you can get an answer by him on a question that you've had it's already worth it tenfold because you're learning from the best on the planet essentially or one of the best on the planet right so let's break the class down into each of the components. Now, of course, I'm not going to show you all of these things, but I will briefly explain what happens in all of them. So the introduction. So you basically meet who he is. You understand where exactly he is in the whole world of poker and where you are. He sort of puts everyone in its place. He really outlines exactly what he's going to be talking about. Really, really cool introduction. So, and then this is really fundamental. And again, if you're an absolute beginner and you don't understand the terminology, Again, you probably don't want to get this class. Or if you're just above a beginner, you know, you've played the game before and you somewhat have a decent understanding, this is definitely right for you. Understanding position. So how each placement and every player is positioned and how essentially the later you are in the round, if you're the button, for example, if you're the dealer, for example, you want to open up your range. If you're on the left side, AKA if you're under the gun, you want to see these terms, right? If you're in these terms like out under the gun, you want to be playing in a certain range. He talks about tendencies and he talks about probabilities. So it's, he goes into a lot of depth here. Really, really cool. He'll clear a lot of things up for you. But it isn't like set in stone, right? It's like if you're the button player and no one's bet, it's like you don't always have to do certain things. There are so many variables and he goes through those variables. And here essentially is those ranges that we're referring to based on the position. So you can see that already that he's breaking it down to a certain degree. So he has the position and then he breaks it down into the hand ranges based on those positions. And then on top of that, based based on the board texture. Is it a dry or is it a rep board? And who are you versing? Really cool to see him break those down. Hand ranges. So essentially he reviews an actual hand. The video, well, this is probably a two minute clip in real world. He spends 12 minutes and 14 seconds reviewing and analyzing exactly what's happening. Really cool. So as you can see, he breaks it down, right? So he's like position, hand ranges and board texture. And then he supplements that with an actual example. Really, really cool. Game theory and math. Of course, if you're going to be a poker player, a professional poker player, you need to have a decent understanding of the math behind it and he'll break that down and it's very very powerful very very powerful on top of that c betting basically continuation betting it's basically a valuable a valuable tactic under the right circumstance you know you learn the right times on when to make the b bet and how to use the tool to maximize your profit really really cool check raising basically a tool on how you should be using it again he doesn't spend too much time on this but he breaks it down to a point where you get it 100 percent. really really powerful only seven minutes it takes to, to teach you that three betting he talks about the new way of what's happening the new wave of the meta if you will in poker and what three betting is and then how you can actually use it as a tool to really get your opponents into certain positions really cool stuff three betting and then of course there's a hand review so he spends four minutes in this one analyzing an actual hand that he's played on again no comments not many people have watched this if you actually jump on this masterclass sooner you're probably going to get a much larger edge than you would if 
you didn't. And heck, as you know, poker is a game of information and the more you know, the better you are. And that's essentially how it works in the long run. And then it comes down to really getting his opinion on how to detect and execute bluffs. This is really powerful. I highly recommend that part. Executing the bluff, hand reviews. Of course, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. So this is how to detect and execute a bluff. And here's an actual example. And this is a big one because he goes into different videos of him versing, for example, Phil Doyle Brunson actually looks at a play from him and Phil Ivey and all these other pros and he spends 30 minutes and this is where the masterclass really kicks in. This is what makes this class so valuable because you see him playing and he's actually analyzing his own play, analyzing these other pro monster players as well. This is what basically sold me on the class alone. Bet sizing. So he explains the, the subtle art of bet sizing and teaches you how to maximize value while minimizing risk, right? So taking as much as you can and minimizing the losses that essentially happen. Overbetting. He explains how overbetting is really a new type of era relative to when he used to play back in the day and all these new kids up on the block. For example, Tom Dwan. He says Tom Dwan is actually one of the really pioneers of overbetting and how to utilize it to actually steal a lot of pots. Very, very cool perspective on that. Multi-way dynamics. This is a 15 or 14 minute video on this. And he, it's really talking about how you can really manage so many different players on the board. You know, how when the number of players on the table increases, your strategy should change up completely. Daniel explains the nuances of multi-person pots and teaches you how to adjust your play for these new, unique situations. And then it's about having a mixed strategy. He talks about basically what it is and he spends 20 minutes on this. And here are the topics, right? These are the things he talks about in this course. Very, very cool. Pre-flops and post-flop mistakes. This is going to save you. I mean, if you're a pro poker player, because what happens here is Daniel breaks down the most common mistakes players make as hands progress past the flop to teach you how to avoid them in your own play. These are the types of topics he talks about. He talks about pre-flop mistakes, limping in, for example. He makes a very good quote and it's like, if you can't raise with your hand, you probably don't want to be calling with it either. And that's all about risk and managing your risk as well. Very, very cool. You want to learn about those mistakes for sure. Tournament strategy. So this is really cool. If you're, if you're into tournaments, you're going to love this because he talks about each phase of the tournament. So he goes into the early and middle stages on the bubble, which is really cool. Essentially, you are learning Daniel's strategies for navigating the precarious bubble, right? The quote unquote bubble, including how to get in the money by leveraging big stacks and avoid ICM suicide. Again, you need to check out the class in order to really understand that. It's really, really powerful stuff. And then ultimately, of course, there is a, there is a middle, there is an early game, and then there is a late game, and then the final table. And as you know, this guy has been on multiple final tables, so he knows exactly what he's talking about. Again, this is sort of like the Bible that every single poker player should really have if you're a pro. It's sort of like that reminiscence of a stock operator book that all the stock traders have, all the stock brokers, or all the, this is sort of like that equivalent in the poker world. It really is. Then he talks about cash games and really how you should be differentiating your cash game strategy to your tournament play. This is sort of like 101. Everyone understands that, you know, cash games, you want to be very analytical in your decision making because you're really treating it like a job but as opposed to tournament play where you're having a bit more fun. You're, pay, you're taking a bit more risks and you're really really understanding how stack sizes matter as antis progress and as blinds continue to move up. So it's really cool to see his perspective on cash games. And again, he's an absolute monster cash game player. He isn't just a put, he isn't just a tournament player. Masking tells is pretty cool. So he essentially walks you through his methods for masking tells, including how to maintain a consistent physical baseline, essentially how to present yourself on the table, you know, practice the perfect poker face and protect your cards. And it's all about body posture and how to be using your body language on the table. Really cool. Again, it isn't really so much about the internet way of things. Spotting tells, and this is really cool. He actually breaks down how to spot all these tells. Good. But then on top of that, spotting tells and hand reviews. So once he's told you about, okay, this is how you spot tells. Here is two minute live video, but he'll break it down for 15 minutes. This is really interesting because the, in this specific situation when he was versing Nick, they both had nothing. He breaks down exactly how he could read what Nick was doing based on all of the past experiences that he's had with him. And essentially he won a massive pot and he was betting, getting bettered against, see better against and he was like no impossible the board is of a particular texture and it wouldn't make sense for Nick to be playing like this under these circumstances and essentially what happened was all Daniel had was an ace high in this situation and he was responding to big bets that was presented by Nick because he could just spot all the tells and he put it into a massive story really really cool talks about table talk and how you can also use it as a way to really up your game obtain information but also if you're really witty about it 
it, you can use it in very interesting ways. And I didn't realize how much strategy went into the table talk. Very, very cool. How to think at the poker table. So he talks about mindset. And as you guys know, it's all about mindset, right? If you're getting tilted, you need to just take a step back and analyze yourself. For example, Daniel used to have tendencies and plays when he used to have eight hour stretches. And it was all about his mindset, you know, to get that done. Managing and exploiting that tilt, of course, it goes into the, you know, how to think on the poker table. Very, very cool. And it goes for 20 minutes. So it's so important that you get that. You understand why managing your tilt because at the end of the day, everyone gets on tilt eventually. And it's all about managing it and really harnessing and really just knowing that it's even there to begin with. Table image, really cool. It's how you're basically presenting your table image to everyone else. So a good example he uses is how do you view a lawyer player that's dressed in his suit versus somebody that's a Sunday school teacher, right? You have two different ways of thinking about these players and he breaks them down. And again, he spends 15 minutes doing that, which is great. Player profiling is really cool because it's all about being aware of what's happening at the poker player at all times. He talks about how people generally on a lot of pro players in as well, they fall victim to, you know, just going on their phone and they, they sometimes miss out on really important tells that other players give them. And he explains how having an active mind in the poker player and profiling players has essentially won him tournaments just because he's always aware of what's happening. He talks about game selection and he talks about online play here as well as real world play. And he talks about what you should be looking for to find the best value games for yourself. And uh, he talked a really good example he uses is if you were the fourth best player or the fifth best player in the world and you're up against the, the first, the second and the third best player and the fourth best player, you are essentially a losing player. And that example really hit me hard because it's kind of true, right? You are the losing player out of those, out of those five players, out of those four players. <laughs> So it's really cool how he dives into that and gives you an example of what you should be looking out for when you select a table. Do you want to be picking a fun table or do you want to be picking the, the stone rock players? Bankroll management. He talks about being, he's been busted a few times and he talks about the pitfalls on how to prevent it and what to look out for to prevent it completely. So that's really, really good. Bankroll management. And of course, bankroll management is such an important part. Um, off felt training. So how you essentially optimize your play outside of the game. And it's really about, you know, practice, meditation and balancing your life you know you want to be healthy when you play you want to be doing certain things in order to up your game because the reality is if you're a professional poker player or even an amateur trying to be, get pro and trying to make a lot of money from it you need to really have these things in order because you yourself are your business. Very interesting perspective. So then he talks about life as a poker player. You know, he, essentially Daniel believes that being a poker player is akin to running a business, as I alluded earlier. Learn how to ensure that your business thrives through critical thinking, emotional stability, AKA emotional intelligence and adaptability. And that's a common theme among all of these masterclasses. Emotional intelligence is very, very important. Then, and so then he goes into the closing and of course, as every single masterclass works like this, he talks about, you know, the lessons he's learned over the, his long period, the challenges he's faced and the best piece of advice that he's ever received. And then he really encourages you to really think about the game before you even start playing. So very, very cool. 80-20 rule he talks about. Very, very important. Then there's the bonus material. He talks about online play and this is really cool. I wish there was a bit, it was a bit longer and I wish he actually showed us a bit more about how he sets up and how his, his setup is. And that's actually going to be one of my questions that I put forward. It's what exactly is your setup online and what programs do you use? Holder Manager 2 is actually a really, really powerful one. I know that he uses because you can see it in the background. But, you know, Daniel analyzes the fundamental differences between online and live poker and shares advice on how to avoid hurting your own rate. Very, very important. So that is the Daniel Negrano Poker Masterclass Review Overview video, or is it worth it? Again, I have a link in the description, which will take you directly to the Masterclass for $90. So I got you back there. Again, guys, if you're an absolute beginner, you probably want to wait maybe a day before actually getting it. If you're a pro or an amateur or even somebody just above an absolute beginner that understands the terminology, 100%, this is basically like a Bible, a reminiscence of a stock operator to the stock traders and the financial groups. This is what the equivalent is for the poker player. And if you keep doing what you're doing in your poker career, you're gonna keep getting what you're getting. So if you're really interested to dive deep into this, make the investment, guys. I highly recommend it. But if you're just above that beginner level, absolutely 100%. This will work wonders for you in the long run. So otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. Lewis P, out. Yeah.